Chat, would you like to see a grown man get uh, uh, triggered by a uh, Doritos commercial? I'm not really giving you a choice. This is Tim Pool. Well, actually, this isn't Tim Pool. This is some other person who I'm unaware of. Some other person. Yeah, not not Doyle. No, no, no. A grown. I said grown man. Not not little boy. If I said little boy, then yeah, that's that's John Doyle. I said grown man who is Tim Pool, and Tim Pool is a grown man. Okay, like at least most of him. He's a grown man. He's fully grown. Now, I will say he still looks like a pupa, okay? If humans could p- be pupas, he would be it, but he's a grown man, okay? So this is Tim Pool peeing up Seti Spaghetti about a bizarre ultra-woke D- Doritos commercial. Confuses people with gay Latino ghosts. Maybe it will. Hey, I haven't seen it. Maybe it will. Probably, Probably going to ride the line minimum. But I will say, before anything, before anything, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, it's a capitalism problem, buddy, not a wokey problem. It's rainbow capitalism. Definitely, definitely that. Anyway, they're trying to sell Doritos. Let's hear what, uh, ooh, what do we call her? What do we call her? Uh, Boston? What? Bargain Bennett? No. Someone say ghost? Yeah, there's some ghosts. I don't know what to call her yet. Well, we, we were talking about Chief Diversity Officer, so I want, I want to get over to Tim, our next story. Here. I still love, dude, every time, the, 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 the bad mall sword and the flintlock, I'm fucking here for that. Every time. Uh, you guys, you're going to love this one. Oh, boy. We're going to love it. We have a new woke ad. Actually, we got a couple, but we're going to start the, start with this one. I'm so excited. From, for from oh, Lips ad. of TikTok, we have a Doritos commercial. Oh. Okay. And it says, Doritos just put out this ad. For your viewing pleasure, I will now play the ad for you, and then we will discuss. By the way, I, I still love the idea that Destiny was like, oh, what's what's Libs of TikTok? And, I mean, should I have to go through every... No, just fucking look at the context of what, what is happening here. Anyway. It's a woke ad. This will break you. Okay, so there's a there's a old person. Hermano, como Brother, te extraño. You so okay. All right, not everybody's watching, so I'm going to translate for, for you guys. It's in Spanish. An old lady and a bunch of people are looking at a shrine. And oh, he's, a fo- he's doing an accessibility thing. This is actually kind of based, Tim. He's not doing it for the right reasons, but he's you know this is this is a good thing. This is for the visually Im- uh, uh, Im- is it impaired? I don't even know. So people have difficulty seeing things. Uh, or just are not looking. Tim is going to explain it for you. Photo of an old man. Thanks, says, Tim. My brother, I miss you so much. Base Tim on accident. <gasps> Ghosts? Oh, now there's blue smoke. Okay. So there's... Uh, uh... <laughs> wait, wait. So uh, this probably ran... Uh, this is October 26th. Yeah. So on October 26th, uh, Doritos put this out. Uh, 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 Dia de los Muertos, which this was this was celebrating at the time, was November first and second. So, this this ran for that audience. So in the context of this, which is why <laughs> confused people with the gay Latino go. Okay, cool. And a ghost appears. <gasps> What's up, family? How are you guys? All right, all right, all right. Now, all of a sudden, another man has just emerged behind. I think. What, what would you call them? Are they probably husband, pro- husband, lover, someone like that? Was that a lich? I. It's I, not what a lich is. It's not a lich. Nope. This is a ghost. Is he a lich? So? Yeah. A what? No a lich. What's a lich? Yeah, I don't super know what a lich old, is. Dead so, um, super it's, old, it's like a zombie, but thing? not mindless. Nope. Nope, that's a ghoul. <laughs> this is just a ghost. Don't don't let hey, look, look. Just because just because I have all the D D books, okay? Just because I got them all right here in the trash bin that is this office for right now. Look, just because I got them, okay? Okay? Just because I could just because I could pull up the monster manual and show you what a ghost is right this second. Just because I could do that. Look, that's a ghost. Okay? Just because I could show you what a lich is and show you how this isn't that. 
Does this look like a fucking lich to you? A wizard that has cheated on death? Hell no. What is this shit? Get out of here. Hell no. Not a lich. It's a ghost. You know what you were thinking of? Ghoul. Ghoul or a ghast. Mostly a ghast. Come on, dude. Get with it, Tim. Loser. Wow. <laughs> what a loser, dude. Imagine being Tim and not knowing nerd things. Right. Oh, I think he's a oh, spirit okay. because this is based on the movie Coco. Yeah. Oh, it's based on the movie Coco, says the white bitch. Bro, it's is it based on the movie Coco or is it just straight up Dia de los Muertos? What? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I'm going to... Oh, okay. It's based on the movie Coco. Fucking... Woo. Is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, it's right. based on the idea of the Day of the Dead, right? Yeah, so exactly, he's yeah. he's a he's a yeah. And, and Coco obviously famously introduced that to the Mexican population, and not the other way around. Uh, is it the movie Coco that they're doing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's a, he's a, he's a yeah, he's, yeah. They're definitely doing Coco. The poltergeist. Yeah, yeah. he's a, he's, a spirit. he's not a poltergeist. Yeah. Is he I know, a poltergeist? I know. No, maybe no, no, he'd be a, a poltergeist is, if he was. But this is Tim Pool content right here. Hold on. Okay. A man has just emerged from behind him. Uh huh. Removes his hat. He removes his hat. Quién es él? Who is he? Is this is Mario? Mi pareja. My partner. Uh huh. And then they hold hands. <laughs> horror. Shock and horror. Shock and horror. What? <laughs> Qué milagro. Creí que este iba a estar solo para siempre. I thought he'd be alone forever. Wait. Um, so, and then wait. they hug. So look at his hands. He's got his arms are bones. Yeah. Uh, so weird. Is that is that what Coco is? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's something. Wait, why is that weird? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Am I just not understanding ghost things? Can ghosts not fuck? Can ghosts not? Am I am I nuts? What was not cute about that? I'll allow ghosts. Yeah. If you're, look, hey, if you're a viewer of mine and you're a ghost, you fuck, you fuck any other ghost you want, okay? With consent. You can consensually fuck any other ghost. Similar to the like style. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me, I just, I just well, gotta the say, ghost right fans that. out there. Doritos, what? What, what <laughs> does this have to do? You know, guys, I really want some, I really want some chips. Yeah, I don't know. What's up I with saw that? this commercial. I'm not gonna eat that, that high glycemic garbage. Even like no. High glycemic garbage? Tim, eat a, eat a fucking Dorito just sometimes. I don't even really eat Doritos. I actually know how many Doritos I had last time I ate Doritos. Because I only had a few. It was eight Doritos. I had eight total Doritos last time I had Doritos. I don't snack like that. I don't really eat chips like that. But damn it. Eat a fucking Dorito. They're good. It's fine. You don't have to fucking crush a bunch of Doritos. Eat a Dorito, eat a Dorito if you want it. High glycemic garbage. Shut up. Garbage. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I don't. I'm. I would. I got no issue uh, with a PSA mm -hmm. about respecting people who love anybody or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or I'm the like, dead, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. Or the dead. Remember but people. just I. What I can't understand is why they summon a dead man. Mm -hmm. Who? Well, they don't summon a dead man. It's just kind of the day that that happens. Look, I don't celebrate the 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 holiday. But they didn't summon him. It wasn't like a fucking. You sh this is the day of the dead is Dia de los Muertos. Okay? It's sort of a, it's like a whole thing. So November 1st and 2nd. This came out right before that. It's not weird. Who then also brings with him his undead gay partner. Yeah. They're not undead. They're currently still dead. And mm -hmm. why that is selling chips. Corn chips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, Tortilla can chips. you eat? Well, that last part is just a capitalism problem, baby. You allowed this and you continue to vote for it. You are complicit in the reason that this happens. Okay? And so is everybody else that eats Doritos. Don't get me wrong. Like, we can't wash our hands of our compliance with capitalist things. But what we can do is go, like, and identify the problem and be like, hey, that's a, that right there, that's, that's really, that's really, like, dire late stage rainbow capitalism that's what that is that is a cynical money grab the doritos people going like what if we make a really cute commercial about gay people and one person eats doritos you know what i mean and then we just say doritos are fine with gay ghosts you know what i mean because it's sort of like like i mean i mean literally to her which is the demographic they're going for is dumb white people 
they're going to go, oh, wow, Doritos, they're so progressive. Oh, and it looks like Coco, that movie about the brown kid I didn't see. But I hear it's really good. It's critically acclaimed. Maybe I'll go see it on Disney+. Plus. Anyway, I like, I'm, I'm down with the gays and the Latinos. I love Taco Bell. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and 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 Coco the movie that introduced the holiday Day of the Dead to people. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll go eat some Doritos. Sure, corn chips if you're dead. Maybe <laughs> you if you're dead. And I mean, you also aren't supposed to have relations if you're dead. I think you're dead. I don't like, know. You're not doing I don't know how that works. Have, yeah. So many questions. Put is this what they think the afterlife the is like? Is like, like you just. You, what do you mean? Do you think? Or, I'm sorry, Tim. Do you think that the writing team at Doritos? was like, hey guys, I know we're doing an ad for Doritos. But in lieu of that, what if we really tried to crack like the mysteries of a potential Mexican Catholic afterlife? What if we did that specifically? Yes, Tim, that's what they were exploring. That's true. You're a skeleton, but you have a so mustache. He he just, know. or I guess, co-opted by Catholics. Well, you know, what I mean. he wasn't gay in life, and then after he died, he became became no, gay. Yeah, I, no, he was probably gay in life, my dude. That's he even became gay. The family. My, he, my, this motherfucker's drinking an RC cola, by the way. I do not trust him. No one chooses RC cola. It's a round, and you drink it. Take on it was that. He was too ashamed to tell right. his family alive. in life Checks out. that he was that he was gay, and so now he's able to say that because he's dead. Have you guys ever seen the movie The Others? No, no. Nicole Kidman. Uh, no, really. No, sorry. It's an old movie. I'm going to spoil it, but it's mm. really good. If it's okay. old, that's fine. Basically, it's like this old timey, like 1800s or whatever, and weird haunting things keep happening, and you know, like doors are opening. And you love RC Cola? Okay, no, 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 no. Let's talk about this real quick. Let's let's abort the the mission here for just a second. More like more like a sidetrack and talk about RC Cola for a minute. Let's do a hot 60 seconds on RC Cola. You do not like RC Cola, okay? You do not like the can of RC Cola that you've chosen to drink. You like the first 3 drinks max of RC Cola, okay? Just like everybody else. It goes flat immediately and you know it and I know it, okay? Icy cold RC Cola, drink one, awesome. Drink two, fine. Drink three, a cola. And you wish you had a Coke by drink four. That's a fact. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. Unless you hammer those things. Unless you're like fucking shotgunning those and drinking them fast. I like the first drinks of every RC Cola I've ever had. You finish your drink in three sips? That's not a sip, bro. Can we can we define properly what sip means? Just drink it quickly, you people and your sugar drinks. This is what I drink, dude. This is what I got going on. I got sparkling water and I got a I got this fucking like no sugar 30 calorie bing. This is the type of stuff I drink. I don't know how you people drink those sugary things that fast. How do you shotgun a, a Coke like that? Coke is supposed to be savored and enjoyed. By the way. The reason I love Bing so much, and I wish they had a no-caffeine version of these, is because it stays carbonated forever. And I don't know why, but that's just, it's going to be carbonated for so long. Sir Parker Posey, thanks for the 27 months. RC Cola, opposite of a Bing. Stuff, and then like they see they see Like a, a Fago? Girl. Exactly like a Fago, yes. Fago is good right at the beginning, and then they go bad. Do I like Werner's? Ew, for Werner's. Ugh. They're like freaking out, and there's ghosts. And then it turns out that actually they're the ghosts the whole time. Oh, that's oh, no. crazy. And that's the weird thing's crazy. happening where the living people doing stuff, and Nicole Kidman uh -huh. just couldn't like reconcile the fact that she's like a ghost or whatever. Oh. And so I'm like, I'm imagining a, a horror film like that, mm -hmm. but it Rock turns out like at the end, group. like the twist was that the ghost was gay the whole time. <laughs> the ghost was gay the whole time. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't under. It's it's well, it's weird because they're gay. weird. It's not thematically yeah. making sense. Well, Wait, why can't ghosts also be gay? I don't understand what the theme ha Wait, why do they This is always a thing. This is always a thing and I know gay people and just the LGBT community in general always what the right wing will say all the time in this, why can't you just have a character that is gay without it being part of the story? And then whenever that happens, they go, "Wait, but that's weird. It's not thematic." 
You can't be both gay and a ghost? Now, obviously, this commercial was about the gay part, right? But, like, still. Just wild. Well, this they're gay and sense. they're attracted to dead people. That's, That's another really thing. Weird. Technically, uh, each of those guys is, is into dead more people. Of the main well, I mean, it's not really... If you're a ghost, I think I think you're on the even playing field. It's no longer necrophilia, right? I feel like that. That's right, but maybe not. Corpse bride with its heterosexual necrophilia. You that corpse bride with its heterosexual necrophilia. That's actual necrophilia. There we go. Corpse bride. What the fuck? What in the goddamn? Edward Scissorhands. Not much different. Toss that out there. Fucking strange science. Mainstreaming of kink. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the mainstreaming of kink. Hey, and That's I'm disturbed by that. Jeez, are you saying there it's, was it's recently a... a uh, there was, an, there was a, an advice letter in Slate magazine about... Oh. Someone wrote in saying that their kink was necrophilia. Oh, oh Slate, my God. Ah! That is disgusting. No. Why can't we just start saying the word perversion again? We have to. Well, like, yes, it's not a kink. That's a perversion. Slate, Slate yeah. basically yeah. answered that... That's okay. It's oh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I don't think I don't think necrophilia is a kink necessarily, but like, it could be depending on how, like if you if the thought of pretending to be gay gay, <laughs> the thought of pretending to be gay I guess could be a kink, but the thought of pretending to be dead could be a kink. Like I don't think that's necrophilia. Though. I think that's something else. It's sort of like uh, CNC. But anyway, um, I don't give a shit. If you if you want to pretend you're dead. And fuck, I, I don't care. I have no problem with that. That's that's a kink. That's fine. Um, as far as, like, actual necrophilia, I don't really care if you want to fuck my dead body. You have permission, guys. If I'm actually dead, if I'm, like, cold, I don't care. I have no... I'm dead. I'm an atheist. I don't really... Uh, that means nothing to me. That said, really gross to me. And don't do it to anybody else. You don't have permission. You do have permission with my body, though. I don't care. It will probably be illegal, though. So I wouldn't do it. They, they'll get you. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. But I have no... Personally, I don't care. It's my it's my body. I get to consent to that. I get to pre-consent to that. Call it doing the possum? Fuck. The one corpse who did consent. I pre-consented for that. I don't really care. That said... You're a fucking weirdo if you do it. You're a big fucking weirdo. And you shouldn't want that. It's icky and gross. But I don't care. For me. <laughs> Is the content we come for? Don't please don't come. Oh my it's god. It's not it's not it's not okay. Just it's really not okay. Feel at work because the person worked at a funeral home. Oh my. Oh my Oh my god. god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, wait. That's actually worse. That is worse. I finally agree with whoever this person is. It is worse if you are a necrophilia and you or necrophiliac and you work at a mortician or mortuary or something. That is fucked up. Yeah, you know that person's taking liberties. That's not okay. You have permission with me, not with every other person. Uh, I do think there's there's a form of like. Okay. I think it's fucked up if someone would say, "Do not do that." You know what I mean? And you have to assume they would not want you to do that to their body, even post death. I feel like there is not like a consent issue. It's like a third party consent issue. Does that make sense? It's the manslaughter of consent issues. Okay? But it's still fucking manslaughter. We're not encouraging it. It's still a crime. It's just not as bad as the other ways you could violate consent. But it's still that. Right? So don't do it. Simply do not do it. Please don't go into the mortician gig so that you can have your way with corpses. Please do not. <laughs> I'm pleading with the internet not to fuck corpses. There's no way. By the way, I don't remember what this was. Uh, maybe some of you can identify this. Um, my first interaction with necrophilia as a concept was as a child, and my mom bought me comic books. And she used to, she because I like comic books, surprise. Um, you know, Marvel and, and all the all the classics, all the stuff. Uh, Spider-Man was a big one. Hulk was a big one. Iron Man was big for me. But, um, and she didn't know what she was buying. She'd find some comic books on sale and she'd grab me some. They were never in order. I didn't give a shit. I wasn't like a collector. I was just a kid that liked cool pictures and muscly heroes and, and, and powers and X-Men, you know, all that shit. Um, she bought me this one comic um, and it wasn't, 
I think it was like an image comic. I actually don't remember the publisher. Um, but it was like kind of Marvel. Like there was like a Wolverine analog. I think he killed people with his fingers instead of like claws. Like he had finger claws or something. And there was like kind of other superheroes. It wasn't an an- no, it wasn't an anime. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but I remember one of the I think bad guys in it. I would assume so was a lady. I think I mentioned this the other day. Was a lady that like reanimated a corpse with her powers to fuck it. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? It didn't awaken anything in me, which is good, but it did make me go, what the fuck? And I hit it because I didn't want anyone to see it. And I would pull it out sometimes and just look at it. That sounds like I'm talking about my dick. I would pull out the comic book from its sleeve (laughs) and look at it and try to figure out what the fuck was going on. It took me many readings to figure out what was happening. I was a very, you know, this was pre-internet days. I didn't have anyone to turn to. I was just figuring this out as I went, man. I was just the wild, wild west of kink, dude. Uh, It's the Youngbloods? That sounds right. Youngbloods? What was Youngbloods? Young Blood comic. Let me see. I won't show it just in case. Young. Yup. This was it. Young Blood. The fuck? Wait, I had this one. Hold on. I had this. I had this exact comic. You could see. You could see the fucking art style. Yeah, this is definitely it. They were, like, way over-the-top, edgy, like, trying to see the other ones I had. How many run, how many comics did they even do? Yeah, this was it. I'm trying to show it because I, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. This is, like, did, um, what's that guy that can't draw feet? (laughs) You know that comic artist that can't draw feet? Did he do this? Rob Liefeld? Yeah. Wait, he actually... Rob Liefeld actually did do these? Are you fucking with me? Yeah, it was an image comic, by the way. I was right. (laughs) This is... This actually is fucking Rob Liefeld? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is the most Liefeldian shit ever. I think I had this one, too. I think I also had this one, because this looks really familiar to me. I used to know their names. I don't know them anymore. I think this black guy's name is Chapel. Because it just, I ran across one of those just recently. Yep, Rob Liefeld and Joe Casey. It says it on this version of the, of the picture. Jesus Christ. Anyway. That was, that was my first introduction to necrophilia. Thanks. Thanks, Rob. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. that took like a second to really screamed. sink in with me, but wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. And that guy's mic yeah. is not cool mixed. So what a, what a, what a world we're in. This is a help. Doritos commercial. <laughs> what I is just, happening? But, it, but this, this, this meme has been around for a while, like where, you know, companies. I know his shy, thigh shading any day. This is the thing about a chief diversity officer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. They're betting on selling their product based on. Yeah. Ideology. Well, you it's know what too? They're betting it's... on selling. They're betting on selling uh-huh. more Doritos to woke people, and betting that conservatives don't care. Yeah. Her ramble was just a gorilla. Oh. Oh well, I'm sure. Okay, it's not a bet. Red Ration thinks falling. Do, do, do they think that like Doritos didn't research that before putting it out? Like they're not betting. It's capitalism. They want two things. Number one, they want to pander to what is their largest audience, which is, of course, going to be more liberal-minded people because it's Doritos. You know? Uh, uh, it's just it's just one of those things <laughs> that will happen. Definitely liberal people, sort and people that don't, like, people that are for or neutral towards gay marriage and, like, the gays in general, uh, probably eat Doritos. So does everybody else. Everybody eats fucking Doritos. Everyone's had a Dorito in America, most likely. Especially if you're born here. Like, so they're betting that most people will re- resonate with that. And this, the second thing they're going to do is exactly what you're doing. Disney does this all the time on purpose. Tons of places do this all the time on purpose. It's rage bait. You're literally giving them more play. And what it does is it creates exactly... I'm playing into it, too, because I didn't know what this was. 
Like I didn't really I didn't really know. I didn't watch the 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 ad before this. Like all it does is create this. And then we all think about the Doritos thing and then we all go, "Damn, last time I had a Dorito, that was pretty good." How many of you actually started eating Doritos since we started talking about this? Be honest. Did any of you start eating a Dorito or think about, "Man, Doritos sound good." You know what I mean? You haven't tried Doritos? Well, you're banned. But like Is there a conservative corn chip? Doritos isn't liberal. Just most people are at least fine with, like, like, you know, gay folks. And they're going to go, oh, I remember that ad. That was cute. It reminds me of Coco, the movie that introduced me to brown people. <laughs> Doritos, huh? You know what I mean? Guilty. Yeah, you guys are eating Doritos now. See what I'm saying? It worked. Yep, mm. conservatives don't care. And, you know and that's part of it, too, is conservatives, for the most part, are just like, meh, I still like Doritos. Yeah, whatever. We, yeah. Watch we, the we, ad. Got, we got to start filming skits. Because we, we can make a great one where it's Could like, you? we just one. make a really ridiculous <laughs> religious commercial and then it's selling something like, like you know, lug nuts for your tire. <laughs> right. It's like a dad, has nothing to do. A dad comes, <laughs> like, do comes back home to like meet his son mm -hmm. and his son's like, you weren't there for me and mom. And then he's like, but thanks to these... Myers lug nuts. <laughs> I was able to finally make it home. And he's like, Dad, and they hug, Ooh. and then like oh, a ghost. Too much sense. A ghost comes out of the chimney. Yeah, that, that is. <laughs> a right. ghost comes out of the chimney and the closet You're at the same trouble. time. <laughs> yeah. and explains to them that he he has a partner in the. Wait, that was a good joke. That's a good joke, actually. A ghost comes out of the chimney and the closet at the same time. Good joke. He did it. That's funny. After life. <laughs> Yo, yeah. we got a we got a we got a nose exhale for that one. Like that. That's what he got from me. Pretty good. It's pretty good in Tim Pool. So that's it. yeah, I would say that's a bit of a strange commercial. Wheat thins are yeah. the conservative corn chip, changed my mind. Guys, you're all wrong about this. Wheat thins are good. That's fine. Okay. Also not made out of corn. You know what the you know what the the most conservative and, and you're gonna I'm gonna blow your fucking mind, okay? Think of think of all the conservative homes you've ever been in and think of the snack roster that they have, okay? Little Debbie. Werther's original. And what's that last one? Not Cheez-Its. Not Cheez-Its. Those motherfuckers buy cheese nips. Nips, bro. The worst possible cheese cracker by Kraft. This is the dog water. I'm 100% right. This is the conservative snack of choice. That's why they suck so bad. Cheese nips. You know it's, you know it's got a, 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 an honorable mention? It's not cheese nips. It's those uh, 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 cheese. I'm just going to type in cheese crackers and we're going to find them. Cheese crackers, better cheddars. That's what it is. Better cheddar crackers. Look at these. Honorable mention to better cheddars from Nabisco. Okay. Now the true, the true homies, okay? All right. I know we're ride or die, all right? If I go into your snack cabinets or whatever you got going on, wherever you keep your snacks, if I go in there and I pull out this papa, this big big dog decision, okay? You know you're riding with a boy, right? Ride or die. If they got the Stouffer's whales up in there, okay? You know that man or woman or NB pal that you got, okay, is an individual of refinement, and taste, okay? They're a dollar at Family Dollar, okay? The consistency isn't better than Goldfish, but the salty cheesiness is, okay? The texture, if they could nail the texture of Goldfish with the flavor of, of Stouffer's baked cheese cracker whales, billions, billions of dollars. Bro, they are crack. That's what I'm saying. Those are actually good? Dude, they're crack. You eat them and you're like, God damn. These are delicious. Look at those little happy little babies. They're amazing. Any corn whales in chat? <laughs> good shit. Yeah. Not a big fan. I'm not either. I'm not a fan of the commercial. Do we have to worry all. about it though? Do we have to I'd worry about it? I'd call an exorcist. Yeah. No, listen, that happened to me. If this, this is, is what this, this if, is yes. coming for everything. It's interesting too because so several years ago I was uh walking in Dude, know. she reminds me of someone and it's driving me crazy. Who is this person? Why does she remind me of somebody? Oh, where was it? Somewhere in Manhattan. 
uh, in the subway station, there were all these advertisements. And I was with my son, who at the time I think was five. And there was a huge ad of people making out, right? Mm. It was just a it was just a print ad, but it was giant. Like wouldn't, wouldn't want to see people making out. That would gross like, me out. The subway, Ugh. yeah. And, who kisses? Um, my son goes, Not me. Um, no way, mom. What's that an ad for? You're like CPR. <laughs> They're doing mouth to mouth. CPR, yes, CPR class. Why does that guy always think yelling is what jokes are? <laughs> and we looked at it for a while, and I said, "Hun, that's an ad for G." Bad bunny. Wait, wait, wait. Did someone say? She looks like Bad Bunny. Dude, it's kind of got a Bad Bunny thing. I think that's what it, what it is. Yeah, sorry. Bad Bunny if she ate meat. That's really, what it, that's really what's happening here. That's who it's reminding me of. Yeah. But only eats meat. It's, okay, this, the, the Tim Pool co-host here is Bad Bunny if she ate the Jordan Peterson all meat diet. That's all this is. That's what could happen. That's the descent that Bad Bunny is is facing every day. She's one bite of steak away, dude. And that's why she that's why she couldn't do it. She chose right. Oh god, oh fuck. That's exactly what happened. You can send her that clip. She'll she'll agree. If she if she's honest. Beans. Yeah. Trad yeah, bunny, like, true. What? Passing what? them on. What jeans? <laughs> what jeans? But and this, he was like, that is so peculiar. And this is like the... A five-year-old. A five-year-old. It's very peculiar. Be, it yeah. used to be that they were selling us things with sex. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Fine, whatever. And now they're selling us things with their new religion. Mm. It's like, what's the new religion? Wait, I missed the new religion part. The yeah, it's all fa it. Family Guy has that joke. Latino Catholicism? Where it's like, it, they're watching TV and it's a bunch of beautiful women. Didn't Peterson die from pomegranate juice or something? <laughs> no. Jordan Peterson smashed the world record for staying awake after drinking some apple juice. That's the actual truth, okay? Right, Jordan? You wouldn't lie about that, would you, buddy? Nah, he wouldn't lie about that. Not Jordan. Not JP. And then at a pool, mm -hmm. and the, uh, they're all drinking and getting drunk, and it's like, drink our beer. If you do, beautiful women will have sex with I, that's you. South Park. Right. Yeah. Right. So, or no, I know no, South Park. Oh, okay. I actually, I'm going to be honest. I don't drink a lot of beer. I've probably had like five beers in the last 365 days. But I have smoked a lot of weed. And I come all the time. So, I mean, choose, make, make your choice, you know? Make your choice. Okay, I know South Park did a version where they keep going. They're like, yeah, I drink all these women. will be really bothered. It's like, drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I always think that too. It's like, well, you remember the ones when they would have a boat? And I was always like, I would drink the beer if it got me the boat. Yeah, but yeah. It, I know it won't. But it doesn't. Well, so this doesn't. is this is one thing I learned. I went to art school. Oh. And I took a media literacy theory class. And one thing our professor did is... Wait, are you saying... Hold on. Wait a second. Is a right winger saying there may be... There may be some benefits to an education. Holy shit. He just has, had us watch a bunch of commercials, and they almost never have anything to do with the product ever. The reason these are weird is because they're clearly pushing a specific ideology, which is pretty strange to do in an advertisement to like mm -hmm. support a political cause that has nothing to do with the product. But usually, they want to sell people an experience. So, okay, wait, wait, wait. How come this? Tell me, tell me this, my friends. Why don't we have the same energy when beer commercials do five-minute Super Bowl spots on patriotism? How come truck commercials can support the troops? Literally the other day, I was watching basketball and uh, uh, like on TNT or something, and the ad was for a uh, was like a Jeep Grand Cherokee or something, and they're like, "This this American flag isn't backwards. It just shows that it's the American flag in motion, just like the members of our armed forces wear on their shoulders." And like they went through, it was just there was that that was the whole thing. I'm very interested in why we don't have the exact same opinion on this, Tim. I mean, I have the same opinion. In both cases, it's 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 gross capitalistic behavior. It's not weird. What do you mean it's not weird? Ads do it all the time. Wait. Is the commonality of something is that what makes it where we just we just stop asking questions if things happen all the time. Lots of people get shot by police, but 
You know, it's common enough. School shootings are common, but we don't just go, yeah, yeah. I guess we just won't deal with that. Wait, yeah, yeah, right-wingers do, actually. Never mind. I was wrong. Because you got to love your country. It gave birth to you. Did the country give birth to you? Did I come out of America's pussy? Did my dad fuck America in a tent and not pull out? And then I came out of America's pussy? Is that what happened? Did my father fill America's clunge? With his nicotine-flavored cummies? I do not think that's what happened. The tent part seems real specific. Well, the tent part is just how my conception occurred, okay? But the idea is you associate their product with something positive. My parents knew this place is ass, too. No, you don't come in the ass if you want to make babies. You come in the ass because you're in charge. Positive. So he would show us in in particular these uh, Kraft mac and cheese commercials. (laughs) And they were really insidious because they were playful. Fuck. But basically, the moral of every commercial was someone in your family's betraying you. Oh, like geez. all the commercials, and you wouldn't think it that way watching them, but you watch all the commercials and it stacks up. And the punchline is always like someone in your family secretly screwed you over to get the macaroni. Um, oh, that's and, creepy. Yeah, it was actually <laughs> like really that. creepy. It was very it funny watching. Sounds it. like my family. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it's macaroni and cheese. What's yeah. interesting is commercials always try to sell you an experience. And then the product is secondary. I remember but when now, I was a kid. Hold on, I have to tell this story real yeah, fast because this is something that was very yeah. vivid for me. Because they used to sell all these like rocket pops, uh-huh. the freezer pops. Uh-huh. And in these commercials, the world was always black and white. It was- Dude, it's so interesting to me that the right wingers are just now discovering that the corporations who they have pledged fealty to every single day with their hard earned American dollars have been lying to them and manipulating them from birth. Like, you do realize that you're currently, like, like, there's an ad for blue right here. There's an ad for, was this boss? I don't even know. I'm assuming they make chairs. Like, there's reasons brands happen. (laughs) This is a sure mic. It's very boring. This kid is going to the fridge. Nothing's going on. It's highly uninteresting. You take out one of these super cool rocket pops and you lick it and the whole world is like in color. That's, look. <clears throat> Chat. That'd be a great ad for my dick. I'm telling you. It's like LSD. I was like six. That's really what so it when is. when I actually finally convinced my mom to get these stupid rocket mine too that's weird how that works isn't it just so weird yeah yeah totally it'll just like it'll change your perspective on life for better or worse okay like this is gonna be amazing (laughs) and i licked it and i was like oh everything i know is a lie okay straight up though straight up though i'm gonna we're just gonna talk about commercials and how capitalism is stupid uh can i can i shout out can i i'm calling you out okay i'm calling you out you're getting the corn hammer Can someone make me a corn hammer for Christmas, by the way? Anyway, I've never thought about that, but I should have a corn hammer. Not a gavel, a corn hammer. I want it to be like like an actual hammer. Um, Anyway, um, we're laying the corn hammer down. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. Jif peanut butter? Yeah, Jif peanut butter. You know what I'm calling you out for? Oh, yeah. I'm calling you out for the lies you sold me. The lies! That Jif peanut butter sold me my whole life. And then when I finally got the courage to try it, got the courage to try it, of course it was ass. And you know what I tried? Do you know what I tried and Jif lied to me about for like a decade before I tried it? Piece of toast? Peanuts? Wipe peanut butter over top of them into one smooth layer. But that's not what was happening in that commercial, was it? They were doing a swipe shot with the knife, and it was peanut butter after. You fucking liars, Jif. Liars. I ate it anyway, and it had lots of crunch to it. Liars. To this day, I buy extra crunchy peanut butter because of that lie. I can't live without the crunch now. You've done this. Nothing happened. Yeah. yeah. Very- and yeah, and yeah, I still buy Jif, okay? 
It's the best. It's not even close. Peter Pan, sorry. You're really sugary. That's kind of it. Natural peanut butter, you've always sucked. Nobody likes natural peanut butter. It tastes like it's healthy. No, thank you. Jif peanut butter, that's it. Peter Pan, Skippy, fuck off. Food takes, wow, yeah, I'm surprised Jake's making a food take on his channel. How long you been here, baby boggler? You've been sub for three months. That's that's plenty of fucking time. That's plenty of time. Very sad. Well, so it worked on a kid, right? <laughs> oh, 100%. I remember they had commercials for a drink called, I believe it was called Tang. Yeah. And is this guy just drinking whiskey? All right, man. Really? In the commercial, they'd like put the straw in the drink, and then the camera would go through the straw. I changed my trash bag. I emptied Sargon. I emptied Sargon, and I forgot to put a bag in. Just like Caitlyn Bennett's husband. And there'd be like chimpanzees on surfboards <laughs> and stuff. It was crazy. And so my brother Pat was like, you know, like I actually looked inside. I got to get Tang once and I looked inside and like that's literally what's happening. <laughs> I was like, no, dude, no. no way. I was pretty little. I was like, no way. So then I was walking at the park and I saw this like crumpled up, like gross, empty oh, Tang no. with a straw in it. I was like looking through it. <laughs> I was, like, the, I was like, I was like, I was like, there's no, there's yeah. literally not a single chimpanzee. I would have been fine with one chimpanzee surfing. Wasn't that nothing. though what the astronauts? No, Caitlin Bennett's husband didn't put a bag on it. Back to space, didn't they have Tang in space? Oh, so yeah. astronauts did have. Didn't those they have pouches. Tang in space? That's they had those had weird spouts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it's not a, you know, just to what you were saying before about pushing a political mm -hmm. idea on us. It's not a political idea that they're pushing. It's cultural. This is well, it's cultural. both. Yeah, I, I suppose. Well, you it's know, it's both. I Let's... think I think it's different. I think politics. I think politics can they the two can have an impact on mm -hmm. each other. But I think what's being pushed is a cultural transformation it's so guys, hard guys. for me to separate the two because yeah. disrupting the family is a huge disrupting the family for political control wait who disrupts wait what's what family is being disrupted wait what thanks for checking out this segment wait what the tim Cat how can you how can you say how can you say you know i'm all for anyone loving whoever they love and then the last thing you show be before the end of this the video is Gay people are ruining the he the the American family. <laughs> like what the fuck? Ghost families, by the way. That guy's dead. You can't fuck up any families. He's a ghost. Unless he haunts some people, I suppose. Well, let's be honest. If I was going to be haunted by any ghosts, gay ghosts are the ones I'd pick. Way more entertaining than straight ghosts. Have you ever met a straight person? I'm the only one I could stand. Let's be real.